Okay, hello and welcome to uh, Mecha uh, Mecha Jammer. So, this is again part of the Steam Next Fest. Also, just really liking this theme on the uh, menu. Um, I looked at the store page, saw the demo, and very distinct art style. Uh, really cool like menu on that here really like I, I look at this and it just takes me back to like old 80s sci-fi stuff and I think that's kind of the uh, the vibe it's trying to instill in the game um, I ge genuinely it just I look at these and I'm thinking you know like Blade Runner and uh, they look like some out of Robocop or something, or that guy, and you know, with spaceships and stuff here, and yeah. You know, music that sounds like it's straight out of Terminator. But it's just kind of billed as a dystopian RPG. Um, I don't read up too much on these before I download the demos, I just kind of pick ones that look kind of cool and go from there. Um, things that just look kind of cool and interesting, but that's kind of all the decision making I, I go with because I try not to. I like to go in a little bit blind, because you know I, I like pleasant surprises. Hmm. Don't know what's happening there. Ready for a crash course boot camp soldier? You're here to be molded into something worthy of the glorious Earth Collective Army. Basics first, left click on the ground to walk. Boop. These brains in jars. <laughs> okay, odd control, so it's just literally left click on the ground. Not right click on it, it's just, just left click, okay. You need to work your way over obstacles. Hold space to prep your jump path and left to complete the jump. Oh wow, that is a... I am not fond of these controls at all whatsoever, but okay. Point your way through, so you can jump through windows, eh? We can. Oh, we've used a door. <laughs> okay, I'll need to end place you shouldn't be. Yep. This one is key, find it to proceed. Is the key in one of these boxes? Can't interact with these. Hmm. This will be something really simple. Right click boxes to break them. Ah, there we go then. Nice that there's a tip there. There's the key. Quick 
Mordor to rule your burglary skill to pick the lock. Hey, Burglary successful. If the lock is hard, you can always resort to brute strength. This should never be attempted while behind enemy lines. Breaking a door is loud, and you'll tell the whole bil uh, bleeding army your location, but sometimes you don't have any options. Uh, so see what you can do. Target the door and right click to punch in it until it breaks. Right. Stealth maneuvers. <coughs> Good soldier preserves ammunition. Let's uh, start by staying out of the enemy's line of sight. These guards are deaf, but they have good vision. Use your detection map to pass by without being seen. Okay. Okay. Ah, they're both turning around this time for whatever reason. And I'm not fast enough. Hm. Ah, again with stealth mechanics, whatever stealth mechanics aren't fleshed out very well. It's literally hell. So they turn around and look there, then they turn around and look here. Oh, I made it somehow. Uh, you have to be quiet as well. The further th uh, they can hear further than they can see, and they'll start searching if you uh, if they hear noise. And sneak mode. As you move, watch your sound waves to keep them overlapping the guard. Okay, we're in sneak mode. Right, yep, yep. Stop talking. I want to get past before they turn around. You know, it's not a great time. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like basically tall grass, as with most stealth games, makes you essentially invisible. Right. If you don't have cover nearby, you shadows. Uh, your per your curse has a purple outline when it's over shadow. Like grass, someone standing very close will be able to see you. Stick to the shadows and walk quietly to get past this guard undetected. Okay. Good work. Uh, right, fine, sure. Let's go. I'm going to end up accidentally skipping so many cutscenes because it's the same button to move as it is to skip dialogue. <laughs> oh. Can you find the weapon in this locker? Left click on the locker to open it, then pick up the item and double click it in your bag to equip it. I mean, I think that's equipped. It looks like it's equipped. I click on a hostile enemy to attack. When your enemy sees you or takes damage, you'll change mode. The game will pause in between your actions so you can pick your next tactic. Each action 
uh, takes a different number of turns to prep, execute and recover from. Enemies will take turns. So it looks like we go into a turn-based battle mode as soon as we get spotted. Okay. I'm already on uh, half health. Lovely. <laughs> so we really, really take some uh, hefty damage in this then. Click tab. Click or tab to knock out from action buttons on right. Press skip button or V to wait turns until your enemy is facing away. What? Hmm. When you hit someone they can cry out and all of their enemies. Choose the knockout action button on the bottom left of your screen to take someone down silently. If you need to wait a few turns for the guard to turn away from you, press V. So we're on one hand melee, there's throw and there's knockout. Okay, so we've set our spanner to knock, well, we've set our wrench to knockout mode. There's a gun and ammo in the locker. Pick them up and equip the gun in your bag. You can shoot directly at a target or to a position on the ground. Prepping an attack takes turns and this is helpful if you think an enemy will be at a certain place by the time you attack. Okay. Right, it's empty. Shoot. Nope. <laughs> okay, hang on. Right. That. Where'd the gun go? Do I have the gun? I have the gun. That just gives me more ammo, I guess. No, equip the gun. There we go. Right. This time, let's reload the gun before we go into combat. I don't know why he didn't think to do that. Well, I don't know why it gave me an unloaded gun, but sure. Ooh. Oh, I thought you were dead. What's that? A key. Aha. We have found the key. Oh, reload. Targeting an enemy's legs or head will reduce your enemy's stats. Reduce max life and knock them down. Headshots are, mo are most difficult, but you gain an extra damage. Extra damage die if your hit chance roll succeeds. High risk, high reward. Wounding shots to legs slow down your enemy. This can give you time to reload or deal with a group one at a time. Hmm. Bullets are loaded. A 
being all sneaky like legs okay they appear to be possibly dead I guess head now oh it can just go chest now they've realized we exist oh no Get him! Get him! No, no, not shoot. Go over and... No, I guess there's nothing good on them. Should probably reload as well now. When you attack behind chest high walls, it'll automatically take cover. Um, During your action, cover turns if you're in sneak mode. When you're in cover, you'll be protected from incoming fire and from sight. Utilize cover to get past these troopers. Right. Loaded. Single shot burst. Uh, fire one shot, use slug dice. Fire three shots for one round, reduces aim, uses slug dice. And then there's whip. Use it as a melee weapon. Weapon uses unarmed. Knockout. Quietly send the target to an unexpected nap, requiring successful roll. And throw. Okay, so we could go into burst fire mode and just fire. But I reloaded my gun. Why did it? Why did I immediately have to reload? Um, reload. Reload. Oh, I'm out. I'm absolutely completely out. Well, that's no good. So much for it being a tutorial then. Oh, can I not get over there? Yeah, we're going to have to leave. Yes, we've mastered offensive maneuvers. I totally got both of them. But you need to stay defensive as well. Be aware, look out for hazard spells on the ground. Uh, they can deal damage. Well, we have to go through. Yep. Damage from quick attacks will reduce your health, but it will regenerate over time. Aimed wounds come with comes with an ailment that lowers your stats and the amount of life you can regenerate. Look in the locker ahead for a med kit. You can heal ailments by clicking on them in your character sheet. Um, terminal. Oh, what have I clicked? Is it a log of some sort? Well, whatever I've clicked there, it seems to have frozen the game up. Hmm. I'll give it a moment. Hopefully it's not crashed. Hopefully. Uh, we live in hope. We 
living hope? That's not good. Oh, there we are. Notepad. Let's, let's not click that button again. Character sheet. Cure wounds. Sol oh, we've got a character sheet. Here we go, then. We are a 34-year-old female soldier. Um, we have virtues. Good pain threshold. Quietness. Quietness. Muscle mass. Grace. Perception. Um, does that mean we've not got anything in the occult? And three into quietness. Um, and one to learning, I guess. Right. Max life, nine. Body part, something. Press to heal with medkit. Stack size, one. Long capacity minus two. Life capacity is reduced by nine. Boom. Cured. And our health is back to full. There we are. I suppose if you use the medkit from the inventory, maybe I'd have to try, but I imagine it just heals the top one or something. Whereas if I use the character sheet, maybe I can spe uh, specify. And we can hack things. It seems like a really retro RPG, kind of, you know, like a pen and paper thing, uh, thing but digital. Like a digitalized pen and paper RPG type thing. I would like some kind of log or something that were telling me the dice rolls and what was going off in the mechanics under in the like in the underlying code of things, you know, giving me like what dice rolls were happening or something along them lines. Um Let's have a look at the tip again. Left click and press O to hack. O. Oh. Enter password to continue. Verifying. Blech. Hacking all successful. Excellent, you're showing some real promise. As a lone wolf, you can only do, do so much. With comrades, you'll survive uh, more, much more difficult encounters. Use your so uh, social study to charm these companions to join your party. Hello. Would you like to join my army? Yes. Right, here we go. Click on your companions to hear what your uh, to hear what they're good and drag weapons, ammo and health kits to their bag. Items all have durability and can break, so you'll need to keep up uh, so you'll need to keep up with equipping them and yourself. Can't see the... There we go. Oh, and the ammo just got yeeted over there. Maybe I can charm them as well? <laughs> oh, wow. It's like groups and everything. Okay. Um
Press one to die. Click to reform party. Okay, this has got very strange, very fast. Right, let's see how this goes. You can organize your companions in squads in the companion menu. Direct the squads by toggling one, two, and three quick keys. Left click on the ground to target to move or attack. Squads can be tagged as melee, range, or shields in the companions menu. Most of the time they'll automatically look for cover, but they'll stay close or far depending on their tag. Um, okay. Well, it's the only weapon I've got uh, anything for. We need that, we need those bullets. I will hurt you. Ha! Uh oh. We're having issues. was moving over there. I may have died. <laughs> um Okay. I don't think the game fully knew how to handle the companions being still there, but me not being and failing this, and yeah, this is a weird result. Um, so they're all dead now. No, don't. Oh, they literally shot me, stunned me, and just murdered the crap out of me. Come on. Let's put it on burst. On burst, please. Single shot, because they're nearly gone. There we go. Much, much better. Wow, you don't get the guns back or anything. That really sucks. Um. <laughs> Ready to hit the road. Left click on a car to drive. Your companions will jump in if it has extra seats. They can attack while you drive. Uh, yes, my companions. My wonderful companions. <laughs> okay, may maybe it spawns some more in back here. I'm going to have a look. It did not. Well. <laughs> well, well, well. I'm sure the developers assumed that, you know, no one would be incompetent enough to uh, have lost it to this point. Okay, um... Oh. Oh. And they're like clicking to move. Let's do this. Ah, now it's telling me what to do.
Yeah, it's... So, the car doesn't use click to move like the rest of the entire game. But according to him, it's going to do that when I enter combat, which... Why? Why does it just arbitrarily change the controls on me? Okay. And... Bang! Why, why do you... Keep reloading at inopportune moments? Drive by! Reload the gun! Right, there we go. Gun should be reloaded. Burst fire mode. Go! Uh-oh. Um... Oh, wow. That was a whole thing. Apparently, that did not do damage. How? I do not know. But who cares? I'm not dead, and that's what's important. Get him! Let's go a single shot. Got him. Um, uh oh. I am knocked out. I am very nearly dead. I am dead. Yay! Literally just punched me like two or three times. Okay, the ammo is through there, right. Just make sure it's loaded. Okay. So it keeps them dead, so if we do keep failing, we will just go back and get more ammo. Why is it empty? I told I told my character to reload this in the car. Uh Burst fire for God's sake. And I'm dead. Wow. So he didn't reload. He kept it on single fire instead of burst. And... I think at one point I accidentally left clicked instead of right clicked. So I just walked towards them instead of actually uh, shooting them. C can we reload the damn gun? Thank you. Put it on burst. I think what it's doing... My suspicion is that it's reloading one of these. Uh, I think this is the one that's loaded, perhaps. And it's not loading other bullets in until that stack is out. That's my suspicion. Like some sort of weird reload bug. I don't know for certain, but that would be my guess. It is on burst. I'm going to double check just to make sure that it's definitely reloaded. Really 
And he's gone straight back to single phone instead of burst. Yeah. I don't think it's all... I think the game's gaslighting me. I don't think it's me making all these mistakes. I think it is genuinely being clunky. Hmm. Let's take cover. Let's reload. Burst fire. Um, they look like they know what's going on. Let's no. Begin. Why is left click to move? I hate that. Uh. And why are there so many guys? I suspect it's ex expecting me to stealth through that or something. Yeah, I think you have to kind of tap the reload button. It doesn't always seem to do it for whatever reason. But sure, fine, whatever. Um, huh. Just the idea that it thought I was going to have companions at the end of this still. <laughs> Nope. Wait a minute. Get him. Get him. Get him. Single shot. Boom. Right, they're getting close. Get them. Slug pistol broke. What? Um. Burst fire. Kill. Burst fire. Kill. What are you doing? Why? I'm, I'm telling them to attack and he's just standing there like dum de dum de do. I don't need to shoot people. You kind of do when they're attacking you. So far, so janky. Um, I'll stick with it, see if we can get to the end of the tutorial, but I'm not holding my breath at the moment. <laughs> right. Burst fire. We reloaded. Why is the gun never loaded? For God's sake. I don't know. I will sneak around. Gun is loaded. Burst fire is on. Get him! Get him! Ow. <laughs> yeah, I think I definitely wasn't meant to just go in and try to kill everything. But I'm kind of, I've kind of committed to that now, so. Mostly I just need more bullets, really. Mind you, I've got a decent collection of them now. <laughs> right, I've mashed the reload button. It's played the little reload animation, so I should have bullets in the gun. 
We're on burst fire mode. Let's hope, let's hope that that actually does something now. Okay. Did they disappear? Legitimately do not know. Ow! Even when you're being stealthy, they just arbitrarily turn around. <laughs> right. And, yeah. I don't think you can really do a whole stealth play here. Really. Hmm. Right, let's reload. We don't have any med kits or anything, but we are regenerating health. I guess that's alright. We'll just move quickly through. Good work, yes! We've completed the demo mission. Tutorial complete. Um, now I'll be honest. It's it looks like there might be some okay ideas in there, but given that it's a tutorial, really, like it's not really a demo. It's a tutorial. You'd you'd want a level after this. Um, it doesn't really show off the mechanics. It just kind of introduces them and then just skips over. Um, the companion system seems like it could be cool if you can just recruit people off the streets, but then the fact that all the guns you've given them and all the ammo just disappears and you can't really see their inventory, it's... eh. Um... I, I could see the ideas in this kind of... if they click and work well together it could be quite good, but... So far, this seems janky at best, and just, yeah, not not something I would personally play. If it is your jam, or should I say, you know, if it's your jammer, <laughs> I had to do it. It just worked too well. But it, if it genuinely is, then, you know, it is available on Steam Store. I don't think it's available to purchase yet, but the demo is there. So you can get the demo, have a go yourself. Maybe it'll intrigue you. At the very least, there's a nice soundtrack at the uh, opening screen here, so that's something. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.